Uh, what's my favorite scene? Yeah, what's my favorite scene? My favorite scene to shoot. Oh, um. It's hard when asked, what are your favorite moments or scenes? My favorite scene to shoot has to have been. We all see that first dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. The characters on screen are looking up at something which triggers their sense of wonder and awe. And then seeing the object of our wonderment on screen for the first time, gee, that's pretty good. You crazy son of a bitch, you did. Remembering Stephen walking us through, how would I see the Brachiosaurus for the first time? When my head turned to see it, that was all of us seeing it together. Sure, that looks great. My favorite scene is when T-Rex turns up and stomps into our lives and all the scary stuff that happens before it may be the classic Jurassic sequence. The cars are broken down, it's starting to rain, the goat is missing and the glass shaking and what's gonna happen? Then this enormous creature stomps in, tries to eat the kids. There's just a bit of glass between them and being eaten. Occasionally the T-Rex would hit the car all its teeth would fall out. Cut. Cut, cut, cut. We'd have to wait for all his teeth to put back in this huge head. Get rid of the flower! Get the kids! In the script, I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to scurry out, scared out of my wits, just like the lawyer just had. He loves his. I think it was my idea. I said, can't I be a little heroic? Hey, hey! Mr. Steven Spielberg, he went, okay, good idea, good idea. He had not only storyboarded it, but he'd done this stop motion animation version of the whole scene. And we watched it, and sure enough, there was me running after it. Hey, follow the thing, and uh-oh, you hit me with your nose, ouch my leg. That's pretty memorable. And seeing it with audiences, you know, it's uh, delightful. Another one that's me looking after the kid. I got him out of the car. The car is teetering in a tree. Oh, no. Damn it. Go. And the car keeps coming. Boof. <laughs> Boof. And flips over and we live. We're back in the car again. I'm really rather proud of being part of that. One of my favorite sequences to shoot was turning the power back on. Okay, charged. And Steven navigating the timing so carefully so that we would have all these surprise aha moments. I think we're back in business. <laughs> Every time I look in a side mirror on a car. Must go faster. There's just so many memories. Alan Grant in their electrical fences scene. That was great. Getting to do that and then really wanting to do my own stunt and be thrust off the fence. <laughs> Unlike my character, I have no fear of heights. So I remember one time I just went way too fast and Steven came out and they were all surrounding me like, Joey, slowly make your way down. There were people like trying to climb up to make sure I was safe. And I was like, what? It's fine. Everything's great. Timmy. Get down now! You're gonna have to jump. I feel like I knew that scene was really gonna land when we were doing it, and I'm glad it did. My favorite scene to shoot, hands down, the raptor scene in the kitchen. It's the cat and mouse experience, the predator versus the prey. The suspense and the tension that Steven generated with that scene, to me, that was pivotal. Steven really helped us to get to that level. We did a couple takes and Steven came over afterwards and said, I want you to scare us. And so that's what I did. And Steven said, that was the one. We've been in pre-production for 50 million years on this movie, Jurassic Park, by golly. Jurassic Park was incredibly groundbreaking for its time. I think none of us really knew the dinomania that would sweep the world. This movie is alive today, and the Jurassic experience actually does span 30 years of story making and films and actors and dinosaurs. <laughs> Yeah. 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 
parents have come up to me and say, you know, I've seen your movie a hundred times because my kids can't stop watching it. Having it be so popular and having people be thrilled about it so much, what a lucky thing. Great, fabulous, okay. I can't even tell you how many times people have come up to me and just say like, the reason I became an actor is because of you, because of your character. I'm a paleontologist or a biophysicist because of Alan Grant. Yeah, you're really casual about it. Yeah, like that, great. The fact that he's a character that has a life outside of the films, that's a good thing. And action. What has been most moving has been how grateful young people are to see Dr. Ellie Sattler as an empowered, strong equal to Dr. Alan Grant and Dr. Ian Malcolm. We start pushing in. Cut, print, great take. And now here we are, the 30th anniversary, and it always brings me back to all the wonderful memories I've had of Jurassic Park. And I loved all of it and I'm very grateful to be part of it. It's meant a lot to me to be a part of this very beautiful family and creative team. If you have to hang your hat on something, might as well be a good one. I'm very proud and pleased to have been part of it. I mean, what a legacy. You can't do better than that.